Welcome back to Abs Talks everyone. So to end the year, I'm going to do a fun little challenge which includes me trying to eat 10,000 calories in 24 hours. Now there is a little twist. All of these meals will be favourite cheat meals of some of the people that I've spoken to this year and throughout this challenge you'll see a personalised video from most of them saying what their favourite cheat meal is. If this is your first time coming across this channel then please do subscribe as I've got some pretty cool content on the channel and I've got a lot more exciting things coming up in the next year. So I want to get straight into this challenge but before I do there's just a few rules that I need to go through before starting this challenge. So the 24 hours start as soon as I take my first bite. Liquid calories do not count as part of the challenge so solid foods only and to make things more interesting if I'm unable to complete this challenge I will do a forfeit which is to eat not one of these spicy noodles but to eat two packets of these spicy noodles hopefully I can finish this challenge and I don't need to do this but if I do have to do this I'll eat two packets of these noodles um, I won't do them on this challenge but I will do it on a future video Without any further ado, let's begin. The next time you'll see me, we'll be at the supermarket picking up a couple of things to eat. Ready? Right, so breakfast time. Do you want to just quickly show them the date and time when I started this challenge? <clears throat> what is it now? Uh, 9 past 8, 27 December, Sunday. Okay, perfect. Right. So you would have seen in the video that we only put a couple of things in the basket. We wanted to go to Lidl to get a few bakery items, but unfortunately Lidl was closed on Boxing Day. So we ended up only going to Tesco, but it's fine. I can go and get a few things a bit later on. The reason why I went to Tesco and to um, Lidl is I asked Tatiana Suarez um, what, what her favourite cheat meal is or what I should eat. Um, I'll put up her response response in one of the corners but she basically said um, have some pastries and some uh, peanut butter which peanut butter I'll have a bit later on um, unfortunately couldn't find the pastries but I did manage to grab some donuts and I did manage to get some croissants so if I just quickly show you guys that so we have seven Krispy Kreme donuts and we have two croissants so according to my fitness pal each of these donuts are 190 calories each and um, the croissants are 160 calories each so and also before I begin I'll just put a picture up of what my weight was before I started this challenge today and then tomorrow morning I'll show um, the difference in weight after hopefully I complete the challenge so I'm gonna go ahead and start now obviously you guys don't need to see me eating every single thing. I'll do a time lapse and then hopefully um, I'll speak to you when I finish breakfast. I'll be putting the calories for each meal on the screen so you'll know exactly how many calories I'm eating for each meal. So let's begin. a bit. So we got two donuts left and a croissant. Last bite. Why don't you give the uh, breakfast a rating out of 10? The meal a rating out of 10? The cheap meal out of the ten. I'll give you it in a second. <clears throat> right. 
Right. A lot of you are probably thinking, oh, donuts, easy. But it gets a bit sickly because of all of the sugar afterwards. Um, so yeah, that was seven donuts, two croissants. I think it's around 1700 calories. I'll put it up on the screen. Out of 10, I'd say it started off as an eight and then ended up like near a six. But anyways, I'll see you on the next meal. Next time you'll see me, you'll probably see me in the kitchen. Right, so we're back for meal number two. As you would have seen, I was whipping up some French toast in the kitchen. Um, so I chose French toast because I really like this and it's one of my favorite breakfasts. So <clears throat> the time now is what? Time is... About 11 o'clock? One past 11. Okay, cool. So I'll put the calories of this in the somewhere in the video. As you saw, it's four pieces of French toast. Um, I didn't, I put a little bit of honey on the top, but I didn't include, it didn't include the honey calories, but I did include the peanut butter, which I put on every, every slice. So it's about 25 grams, uh, each, e each time I did it in between. So I guess I'll start right now. I'll give you a quick review of how it tastes as well. Show us, uh, show us one piece of the camera by yourself. Mm. Come on. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just, mm, lovely. Right. right, cool. So I'll give this quick taste test. Obviously, it's not rock toast level, but let's do this. Hmm. Is it good? Is it damn good? Last bite.
Right, <coughs> all done. That was delicious. It got very rich there. There was a lot of peanut butter, so it was all getting glued up in my mouth. Anyway, uh, I'll put what the daily total is up on the screen. But yeah, that was lovely. I'll see you. Wait, score? What score? Out of 10? Mm, I'd say eight and a half out of 10. So that included two eggs, cinnamon, toast, milk, obviously sugar, honey, which I didn't count, and uh, the peanut butter. So yeah, next time I'll see you will be for my third meal. So yeah, see you later. I wonder what Habib's favorite cheat meal is. I mean, let me just find out quickly. Asalaamu Alaikum Habib. Uh, just wondering what your favorite cheat meal is. Next is Coca-Cola with ice and and some steaks with burgers, you know. Like, I'm very hungry. Okay, okay. Very good steak with burger double cheese. I want this one. Haters will obviously say that uh, phone call with Habib was fake, but it wasn't just his favorite meal. It was also UFC featherweight Yusuf Zalal's uh, favorite meal. Hey Abs, how you doing, brother? Uh, my favorite cheat meal is is burgers, man, all the way out with cheese, onions, and all that stuff, you know. So all the way out, that's my favorite cheat meal. Good luck, man. I can't wait to see the video. You eating all that stuff all day, so I can't wait. Good luck, man. So I've got a double cheeseburger with onions, like Yusuf asked as well, and then I've got a steak as well, which I, what I forgot was my water, but I'll uh, ask someone to grab that for me later. So um, what's the time now? This is my third meal. Third meal. Time is two eight two eighteen. Okay, cool. So I'll start this right now, and then I'll do a bit of a time lapse. Can I eat? Yep.
last bite of the burger that was absolutely delicious Right, so on my last bite, bite of the steak, this is all just bones and cartilage. I'm not going to eat that because it'll just get stuck in me somewhere. Final bite. Right, so third meal done. Next time you'll see me, I'll probably be at a uh, drive through or something, um, and we'll be moving on to Darren Stewart, UFC middleweight, and Farah Hanoun, um, MMA junkie, journalist. What both of their favorite uh, cheat meals are, I've decided to combi combine both of their meals into one. Hopefully you'll enjoy it, but yeah, I'll see you on the next meal. So I'm just on the way to KFC drive through because Darren Stewart and Farah Hanoon sent me this. What's up, Abu? I'd probably say my favorite treat meal, especially after a good workout, would be fried chicken tenders. So in abs, my cheat meal is chicken, meat, and more meat, and more chicken, and wings, and a cherry on top. That's my cheat meal. Hi, can I take order? Hi, can I get um, four mini Philip meal? The Philip, mini Philip burger meals? No, 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 four mini Philip. You know the mini Philips that you do? Strips, the strips? Uh, yeah, the strips, four mini Philip meal. Four piece mini Philip meal, yeah? Yeah, yeah, and can I also get eight hot wings? No problem, what drink would you like with it? Um, can I get a Pepsi Max cherry, please, cherry? Uh, would you like to go large on it? Um, no, um, can I get, can I get, uh, two gravies as well, please. Uh, Anything else? Uh, no, regular size gravy, please. Anything else? Uh, no, that's all. Excellent, please. Right, so I've decided I'm gonna eat in the car for this video. Um, you probably already heard I ordered like some boneless fillets and some chicken wings, a couple of gravies. So I'm just gonna start with these chips. Hold some of this, and of course, I've got a Pepsi Max Cherry because I didn't want to forget Darren's cherry on top. Right, obviously get your hand sanitizer out. Right, chips done, chips done, bit of boneless fillets. One of these. So Farah, I hope these chicken tenders are okay for what you asked. There's four of them here. Oh, and this KFC is halal in case anyone is wondering. Don't drop it, just... No. Hey mate, it's gonna be you dropping it. I'm dipping this in the gravy, everyone knows KFC. Oh, forgot to show the time. Quickly show them the time with your phone. 
What's that saying? Take it a bit closer. So it's uh, six. Th turn it on. Forgot to show you the time. It's six thirty-seven on the twenty-seventh of December on s Sunday. Fillet number four. Right, so that's all the four fillets done. <clears throat> careful, careful, the gravy's there. The gravy's fine. Nothing else in the bag, right? And One more gravy. Gravies and sauces. I think there is a. What do we find out? Anyway, chicken wings. Can hold this. Okay, so I so I have six wings left. I'm gonna take them home and I'm gonna eat them at home because there's a weird guy walking around the car and um, it feels a bit weird eating here with this weird guy around the car. So I'm gonna take them home and then I'm gonna eat them at home. So I'm back at the house. I've got six wings left. I just put them on a plate. Cool. So I'll start. I'll get through this and then I'll move on to my next meal. So let's go. Again, I won't bore you. I'll just do a time lapse. Hmm. Oh my God. What have you done now? That just sprouted everywhere. The water? <laughs> my drink. Oh dear. Oh wait, is it Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Yeah guys, uh, I've had five wings, I've left a bit of breading because there's way too much breading but I'm not going to eat this one because it looks a little bit pink inside and um, yeah I don't really want to fall in. So yeah, I'll see you on the next meal which is um, going to be a meal which was sent in to me by MMA journalist and content creator James Lynch. So yeah, hopefully see you on the next one. Hey Abs, what's up? It's James Lynch. My favorite cheat meal is definitely pizza and not any pizza. It's got to be mom and pop pizza, not any type of chain, not Pizza Hut, not Domino's. It's got to be like a local mom and pop type place because you get a lot more love in, in the pizza and you get, you know, I got to get really good toppings on there. You know, cheese, pepperoni, bacon, sausage, you name it. I go all out. That's my favorite cheat meal. Hope that answered your question. Right. So I'm back and the time is now. What is it? Uh, seven past one. Seven past one. So it's officially now Monday, I guess. Um, I have like seven hours left of the challenge. You would have just seen James' uh, favorite cheat meal. Um, so I did speak to James beforehand. Unfortunately, because we're in tier four in Southeast and London, um, we're in a massive lockdown and most of these mom and pop shops are closed. So I had to go to somewhere local that was still open at this time of night. So I did manage to get something which was which has a bit of meat in it. So, I don't want to tilt the pizza, but hopefully you can see that. Yep, 
Yeah? Cool. So, I'm going to be real honest with you guys, everyone. Um, I'm probably at just over... Should I cut this box? I've got an idea, actually. Do this. Is that okay? Mm, that's fine. So I'm probably at just over 5,000 calories now. I've got eight hours left, I do, seven hours left. I do plan on sleeping. Um, I didn't want to let James down, so I still got the pizza. I don't think I'll be able to get through all of this, but I'm still going to give it a shot. Um, I've got this cheesecake to eat for afterwards, and then I might eat some chocolates or something else afterwards, but I'm still going to give it a shot. Um, at the moment, it does seem like um, I'm going to have to do this um, noodle challenge. But yeah, anyway, I'll take a bite of this pizza. Um, probably the whole thing, they say it's about 200 to 250 uh, calories per slice of pizza. So this whole thing is probably around 2,500. But I, I really doubt at this point that I'm going to get through much of this. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. So yeah, let me just take one bite. I doubt there'll be much of a cheese pull either at the moment. So I'll just take here. Well... You know, that was a bit of a cheese pull, I guess. But yeah. <sighs> right, guys. I I just can't eat anymore, honestly. Um, try, I've tried and I can barely even get one slice in. For those of you who know me personally, you know I've got a big appetite. Um, but today it just seems like 5,000, maybe 6,000 calories is just is just the maximum my stomach is going to take. If I have any more, I'll end up being sick um, and it's not going to bode well for me. I really was looking forward to this cheesecake as well, so I won't be eating that. Um, you saw I gave a few slices to my brother. I just about got through one slice of pizza. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really disappointed. Like, I woke up this, out for the last couple of days, I've been planning this, right? Um, um, I got, obviously, the, my guests sent me in the videos. Um, I literally planned it, woke up on time, did everything, but unfortunately today, just didn't want to happen. I think one of the main reasons why is um, some of you know, but I've been on a proper strict diet for the last seven to eight weeks. I was about um, about 162 pounds about eight weeks ago, and I managed to get that down to 148 pounds. And trust me, I didn't do any exercise at all. It was literally just straight diet. And I think today's food was just a bit of a shock to my system, maybe. I don't know. I, I guess it's a valid excuse, but not really excuse. But it's crazy because I've... Um, I've tried to do this now three times, so I did this once about three years ago, and I managed to get to about seven to eight thousand, seven to about eight thousand calories. Um, I did it, excuse me, about eighteen months ago. Again, got to seven to seven or eight thousand calories, and both of those times I started a bit late. So I thought by starting a bit earlier today, it'll allow me to get to the ten thousand. Um, unfortunately that wasn't the case so I'm sorry to you know let everyone down um, it does look like I now will be having to do that spicy noodle challenge I won't be doing it today obviously I'll probably do that at some point over the next um, over the next few weeks maybe a month but yeah man um, I think tonight's gonna be pretty rough um, I know a lot of you probably watching this are thinking oh 10,000 calories it's really easy really easy trust me start doing it and then your body just it gets to a point where it just doesn't want to, it just don't want to eat no more. Um, and that's coming from me, someone who is a big eater and someone who has got a big appetite. But yeah, anyway, um, I wanted to end the video today on a more positive note. Um, so hopefully when this video comes out, um, I will be close to, or hopefully maybe even have passed 1000 subscribers, which is, which is honestly, it's like humbling and it's, it's unreal for me because when I first started this um, on on the 6th of May, which was actually my 26th birthday, in my mind I always thought after one year, if I have around 500 subscribers, you know, I'm in a good place, I'm making some progress. So for me to be close to 1,000 or maybe even surpass 1,000 by the time this video comes out is like, for me it's amazing. I know subscribers don't mean everything and views don't mean everything, but 
Um, it is really nice to see all the support that I'm getting from my friends, family and people that I don't even know on Twitter um, and Instagram, like faces I've never literally seen before. They're just words, but it does mean a lot. So I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who supported me and who's helped me get to, you know, to the point I am today. Um, obviously, it's just the beginning and I've got so much more exciting things planned coming up next year. But yeah, this year from May till now, December, it's been it's been really good. Um, thank you also to all of my guests who have been on my channel, who have spoken to me, who have given me the honour of interviewing them. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I really wanted to end it. So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do subscribe, like the video, comment on the video. Sorry I let you guys down, but hopefully I'll do another challenge to make it up. Um, special thanks to um, Yusuf Zalal, James Lynch, Farah Hanoon, Darren Stewart, uh, Tatiana Suarez for all sending me in their suggestions for food and their videos. Khabib. Really appreciate it. Khabib. And obviously Habib, you know, my boy who I spoke to earlier. Um, shout out to my younger brother who's been with me the whole day behind the camera. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Um, I'm going to end the video here, but I'll do a weigh-in tomorrow morning. And I'll just, at the end of the video, I'll put what my weight is. I think I probably still consumed between around five to 6,000 calories today. Um, and I'll put the actual calorie amounts for each of the foods in each of the meals up anyway. So hopefully you should see that. But yeah, apart from that, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was enjoyable seeing me suffer. But yeah, I'll see you all on the next video. Whoops. I'll see you all on the next video. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.